Okay, YouTube, what's going on? So today we will do um, a video which is part of Prime Vernable Hub, which is the newest machine on Vernable Hub. Uh, now, as I said, our methodology is only spotting and practicing the penetration testing aspects of any challenge. We're really going to be interested in finding out flags, determining guesswork, and finding out about hints. Because the purpose of this channel is to teach you penetration testing and cybersecurity in the real world, not in city of work. Okay, so let me open up my browser to show you what I mean. Okay, so 192.168.94.104.104. Okay, so now given that you have an IP address of a testing machine of a web server and you need to find out what is uh, the vulnerable uh, parameter? So our purpose of this video is to find out whether this web server or website has local file inclusion vulnerability. It's very easy, guys. It's not so difficult, but we need to understand how to reproduce local file inclusion vulnerability. First thing first, we need to look for vulnerable parameters. Parameters I am talking about these kind of things are so index PHP. Uh, let's say ID equals something. So this part is the parameter that fetches the request from web server. Okay. And in order to figure out and find local file inclusion vulnerability, you need to find a vulnerable parameter that could get you through uh, sensitive paths or critical, uh, critical files or directories in the web server or in the, or in the machine. Okay. So how we can find these vulnerable uh, file, uh, sorry, vulnerable parameters? Actually, a very useful tool is WFuzz. I'm going to show you how to use this tool to find out the vulnerable parameter. So let's start by typing WFuzz minus C minus W. And here we type the word list that is used by WFuzz. So you type either share word, no, WFuzz, word list, general, common. I'm going to use this word list over here. Uh, now I'm going to type HC404. Now I'm going to explain to you why we use this option. And here, then we type the vulnerable, sorry, the testing IP. Okay. Now we type slash index of PHP, whatever you like. You might try to index the PHP, you might try image, you might try anything. And that's uh, ends with PH3 guys or ASPX. And over here, I need to fuzz the parameter. So the parameter I'm trying to find is the uh, I put the keyword of fuzz in the place where I'm interested in to find the parameter. So fuzz here, I'm trying to use the value fuzz to find a parameter in this place. So equal here, you type whatever you like. What Okay, so guys, you see here, the web server gives same response over here. Here is the characters, the words, the lines. You see, every word here gives the same response. You need to spot and find the different or the file, oh, sorry, the word that gives different response. So let's scroll up to see something different. Uh, oh, okay. So it's here, guys. You see 206 characters. So the web server gave different response for this parameter. So let's try out list of ID file equal. Now, when you find the vulnerable parameter, you attempt to do local file inclusion. So you do etc password. So it says you are taking the wrong file. Understood. But now we need to find what is the vulnerable uh, parameter. Sorry, sorry, not the vulnerable parameter. We need to find another vulnerable. We either need to find another vulnerable parameter, or we need to find different page on the web server. Different, something different than um, index to PHP guys. So. We might try a different couple of things, actually. We might try image.php, we might try uh, about. There are many uh, attempts or many variations to try. 
But the, op the options that you will be bounded to, uh, sorry, you will be bounded at is, or are the options where you find in directory buster, okay? So you see guys, directory buster is a tool that you will not, you not use uh, too much in the real penetration testing world, especially when you are testing for a secure client or a client that has network devices or firewalls in place. Because if you don't agree with the clients on whitelisting your machine or IP, your penetration testing will fail the time or the, the moment you initiate directory buster because you will be blocked by the firewall. So in this challenge, we're given that there is a file called location.txt, guys. So I browse this file. So they said there is a, another vulnerable parameter. We take the vulnerable parameter and we put that here. And then we try to browse to nothing. Okay, so this means that that we need to change the 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 file over here. We might try image, and we are given the response that we wanted to see. So down there, if I, you see guys, there is a wizard called Sacred Find Password Text File in My Directory. Of course, as I told you, you will not find these kind of uh, uh, occurrences in the, real, in the real world. But you might, you might, I mean, stumble upon some guys on the web who put these kind of uh, things in the website. But anyway, let's try now to browse to the password of this user. Home, sacred password. It says finally you've got the right parameter, but I don't see anything over here. This is a very source. Mm. Oh. Okay, so what, what we need to do next is... Actually, I don't know, there's probably something wrong, because I couldn't find the password they were telling me about. So. Okay, so anyway, let me try guys now. Hmm. Okay, let's try to go back. Okay, so let's take that. Now, let me type password. Okay, this is the password. Clear text password. Now, actually, after I have learned how to find vulnerable parameters and conduct local file inclusion vulnerability, uh, local file inclusion exploitation, now the next step in this challenge is to log in to WordPress, which you can find in this directory over here. The username is Vector. Okay. Now the next step is to log into WordPress dashboard using this username and this password. Uh, and then in the next video, we will see how we can step from WordPress access to shell access. But I know guys at the end of this video, I wanna tell you that be careful of exposing usernames or nicknames when you post on WordPress website. It, many people fall for this, actually. I see many people on the internet, they have WordPress sites up and running, thousands of traffic, but when I see their posts, okay, they have usernames, I mean, they have nicknames exactly the same as usernames when they post on WordPress. Change your nickname on WordPress to be different than the username. Because, you know guys, when you have thousands of traffic to your website, and your website is making you money, uh, many people are interested in ripping that off, okay, or stealing that from you. So bad guys will be after you, and be careful of that. Change the, as I said, let's use a name 
be different than the nickname you are using for WordPress post. So that's it for this video, guys. I'm very sorry about the last video. It was just one page, and the audio was in different interface on my computer. I redid the video, so I hope you enjoy this video, and we will see you in the next video. We will do the uh, limited shell access.